Hi, everyone. Thank you for being here. My name is Holly. I'm a psychic medium. Um, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. So I appreciate your time. Um, this is a general reading, so please understand that it won't fit for everyone. But if anything resonates, great. I don't know. What, I'm kind of in a funk today. Not a funk. I'm just uh, woo, kind of vibrating a little high today. So um, let me get right to it because otherwise I think I'm going to ramble in a really unfortunate way. Just got to remember, all things come from love. All things come from love. Fear is... If there could be an enemy, it's fear. All right. Uh, let's get to it. All right. Um, I'm going to start with... And I'm not a card reader. You all know that. I'm not a card reader, but I like them in general readings because it creates a great jumping off point, and that's when spirit kicks in and I start hearing the messages. We're going to use the Energy Oracle deck uh, or, yeah, by Sandra Ann Taylor. I'm sorry, you all. I'm just scattered today. Way scattered. Okay, and I did cut these down to make them smaller so they're easier for me to uh, shuffle, and etc., etc. All right. centered and grounded all right what is the message for the collection today what is the okay i feel like i need to look at that even though it didn't come all the way out contract if you are looking at signing any contracts what i'm hearing is pay very very close attention to this to the fine print okay or if someone is telling you something listen very closely to make sure you're getting everything they're actually saying and doing so watch closely. It's all about fine print today, whether in words, actions, written form, whatever. All right. That's for some of you. Oh, for others of you, man, this came out, and it came out fast and upright. Walking away. I need clarification. I don't want to talk yet until I get clarification. Clarification, please. Clarification, please. Okay. And another deck. No, this one still? Okay. This one more clarification card, I feel like. And then we'll get into it. This is interesting. I'm not sure what to make of this. Okay. Um, all right. So what we've got, walking away, the thinking man, envy, and appreciation. As soon as this one popped out, I heard know your worth. Know your worth. And for this is for a group of you. And I'm sorry to say this, but I think someone is lying to you. So know your worth. This could be a friend situation. It could be a romantic situation. I don't feel like it's work and I don't feel like it's family. I feel like it's someone that is connected to you in your life, but that <clears throat> not quite a friend, not quite family, something in between, which is a weird place to be. So if that resonates or you understand it, uh, it could even be an ex. Um, I'm hearing, uh, and I'm getting the feel like, <laughs> it's like in that, that old Star Trek movie about the earworm, you know, and they talk about an earworm with music, but you know, where they, it drills into your brain and it kind of sabotages and screws with your head. Someone is giving you information that is making you question things. So watch out for that. Oh, and that's what that contract fine print card was about. Think for yourself. Don't let anyone else tell you what to think. As soon as you stop trusting your inner knowing and your own intuition, that's when the trouble starts because you're settling into, again, the first message. You're settling into fear rather than knowing. Interesting. Interesting. All right. So let's just go one at a time. 
Spirit, help me out. What, do, what is the collective? The people that this will affect. It won't affect everyone. It's not everyone's story. Please remember that. What does walking away have to do with this particular group in the collective who needs to hear this? Okay, I don't understand. It's saying walk away from infirmity. So visualize yourself well, see yourself well. Someone I care a great deal about is really sick right now. Um, but I don't think that that's it. I mean, you just got to kind of, some things you just got to ride out. And there's a reason why you need to step back and rest and regroup. Um, this feels like someone is walking away from an old way of life. This is walking away from what's not good for you. And it's going to be easy once you make the decision because I keep looking at the gate. The gate is wide open. And how many times do we say, you know, ask spirit to show you the door and then have the strength to walk through it? Okay. The thinking man. This is someone who's very smart, man or woman, all of these, man or woman, it doesn't matter. Um, the, the gender is irrelevant. It's about the energy of the card. So this is someone who is incredibly bright academically, socially, not so sure about, but an intellectual, cognitive ability that stays in his or her head way too much, more than they want people to know. All right, these still feel like very independent cards and independent messages. Spirit will tie it together. Let's just be patient. All right, envy. This is kind of a mean looking card. Someone with a lot of jealousy and a lot of envy. If I can't have, then you can't have. That's kind of the feeling of it. But notice that this person doesn't have to be that way. They're shrouded in, in cloaks of darkness when there's a bright light right outside. They're not even in a building with a door or window. It's just an archway. All you have to do is step into the light. But someone is not willing to do it and you can't force them to do it. And this person is actually reaching back into the darkness. But then we have this beautiful, I love this card so much, and roses. I love roses anyway. Just a high vibrational, beautiful, fragrant plant. A true gift. That's what I'm hearing, a true gift. This morning I was thinking, just on my own, you know, getting out of the shower, I was thinking, we can't take anything for granted. We can't take anything at all for granted because we don't know. I mean, as much as we can tune in and tap in, there is still the mystery aspect of living in life. And people have free will and animals have free will and we don't know sometimes what's going to happen next as much as we want to. And so someone may give you, I may give you, if, I may give myself a fantastic reading, which is hard to give yourself readings, but um, it could change. It could turn on a dime just because of free will. So it's important not to take anything for granted in your life or make assumptions. And this woman, the one thing she does know for sure is that, and she's holding like a handkerchief. So where there is sorrow, there is also always hope. And that is the message. Don't let the sorrow weigh you down so that you don't see the hope in situations. Because I think that's where this person is. And you don't want to be that person. And look, they're even facing in opposite directions. Live in the light. Just try to be a good person and do the best you can. All right, tie this together for a spirit. Someone is worried and afraid. 
someone is worried and afraid. But the message here is that when you step into your power and you step into the light, when you realize your value and worth that we all have within us, and all we can do is do that for ourselves, we can't do it for others. We can't drag people along with us because it just slows us down. We need to keep going and be in the light. And then if we want, we can turn and radiate that goodness onto others. And hopefully they will see it and feel it and want to be part of it. And then pull themselves up. Now that doesn't mean turn your back on somebody who's in dire need of help. Um, but that does mean be aware that you can't change anyone because I feel like someone's trying to change someone or you think you have the ability to wish it to into fruition and sometimes you just don't. It's funny that we begin with this. The garden looks pretty desolate, but there's light ahead and it ends with she's walked through the light because it's behind her now instead of in front of her. She's in it. She's experienced it. And the garden is lush and fragrant again. And she's happy. He, she. Don't let fear pull your thoughts down. And understand that other people are responsible for their own lives. almost one of those hard lessons we have to learn through experience, I think. All right, let's try another message. I want to see what else is going on. But, you know, I was going for the light series tarot, but I think we need to look at an animal ally first. Um, Spirit of the Animals Oracle. Beautiful deck. I'm kind of obsessed with this deck right now. Um, all right, so this one. I mean, just one today. Oh my gosh, I didn't even realize this was in the deck. It said, look at the bottom. Just what we've been saying, personal choice. Personal choice. Close your eyes. What animals do you imagine? What strengths are they known for? What wisdom do they share? Embrace those qualities. Find your own inner guide. And if you haven't done it already, there are a million guided meditations. If you let yourself go, listen to it before you just completely relax into it because you want to know where they're taking you. But all you have to do is let yourself go and let yourself go into it. Um, look at this. How sweet. I heard the word, or the words, coming together. Penguin. Hmm. Hmm feels very quiet today. All right, or this morning. All right, so the card that, that, all right. Penguin, breathe out. Oh, not breathe out, I don't have my glasses on. Huge astigmatism, so the R looks like a B. <laughs> okay. um, reach out, reach out to your tribe in times of need. Family gives you strength when you face the storm. Love your uniqueness. You are full of surprises. Break free from others' expectations. Just be yourself. Penguins are so cute. They're also very loving, and this is showing a family unit. Um, they also are funny. They like to play. Don't forget to play in your life, okay? All right. Let's see. They're saying no on the Light Sears Tarot today. Um, I thought that's where we were going, but we're not. We're going to just do one more. This is going to be kind of short today. Um, all the animals are good. All the, all the babies are good. Uh, all the cats are good, but they are remarkably and oddly quiet today. And I'm feeling a little agitated myself, so I need to get, I think I need to do a couple of things today. I'm wishing you all well. I'm wishing 
love and happiness and joy within yourself and without. Understand that fear and doubt Sometimes they are creations of an overactive mind, like that thinking man card, thinking man, thinking woman. And sometimes they are things that are only temporary and, and to make us stop and say, wait a minute, what's going on here? Reach out to your guides today. Dear guardians and guides, please surround all of us, every single person in the collective, any, any person at all that needs you today, please reach out to them reach out to all let them feel your presence let them feel you wrap them in the comfort and safety and security of the knowing that you are part of their lives always thank you thank you thank you It takes a lot more effort to be mean, snippy, than to just be nice, to be kind. Okay. All right. Okay, so we've got two that came out. And then we had a little clump here that fell, but um, I asked, you know, am I supposed to take all of these or what's going on? Because they came out face up and I heard yes. Okay. Things are changing. Things are coming into fruition. Things are good. Get out of your own head. Okay. Okay. This is interesting. I just heard peace be with you. Be calm within. All right, so here's what we've got. I say this every time. It's the Unfolding Path Tarot. Love this deck so much. Um, ten of Coins. Right next to that, the Ten of Cups. Thank you, Spirit. I just heard, when you come into your place of peace and happiness, that's when the, when, when the Ten of Cups happens, that is the, the pinnacle of hearth, home, family, security, safety. When that happens, and I'm sorry, I'm shaking the table, which means the camera. That means that your safety and security financially also happens. And I'm also hearing strength in numbers. So don't be, a, just trust yourself, trust yourself, trust yourself. Now that doesn't mean just take in any old person, you know. Find, find what within you, you want to see grow, and then all things around you will grow. That's the message. All right. When you nurture, when you nurture what is in your heart, the out, the exterior reflects the inward. I hope that makes sense. I hope that makes sense. All right, the chariot, and look at that animal. It's been coming up in various forms for quite a while now. And for me, that always means an emotional spirit ally protector. So with this deck for strength to come up, and it's not just me talking, because I'm asking spirit to please give me the words and, and the knowledge to know what to say here. Um, your emotions are being protected. So it's time for you to be honest with yourself. Change is coming. A rebirth. Um, closings of chapters are not deaths. They are simply opportunities for change and growth. Please hear that and understand it. Change is coming, but it's going to be for growth. It doesn't matter which way you look at it. It's all growth. Okay? rebirth growth and rebirth it's that never-ending cycle it's a circle they're showing me a circle birth death and rebirth i 
All right, the two of wands. Somebody is waiting and watching. Hold on. They're in there. It, this feels like the infancy of the rebirth, the infancy of the rising up from the ashes like a phoenix. But the energy and the power is there. Yeah, and a climbing, it looks like almost a dog rose, but a climbing rose again. Rose is coming through a lot. All right, and then we end with the King of Cups. This is a happy, thoughtful energy. What do I need to know about this? The phrase I'm hearing is, all things come to fruition. All things come to fruition when it comes from sincerity and genuinely speaking from the heart. So I don't know that this represents a person necessarily in your life, but it does represent being truthful and honest with yourself and what you hold within as your truth. Someone is, there are a couple of different ways this could be processed for different parts of the collective. For one part of the collective, you are stepping into your own, you are stepping into your truth, and you are stepping forward with who you are in your totality. So good for you. Live in your truth. Um, for other, And for some people, that mean an actual like coming out. So just make sure you do so in a safe and, and um, inclusive way. For others, it means you are deciding what is for you internally, who you are, what you need, releasing the fear, and you love yourself the way you love other people. And you're walking away from something incredibly negative from that last card spread, ooh, the envy card, uh, ooh, or the first one. Um, some of you are saying, no, I deserve better than to be treated this way. So you're moving away from fear and into a loving feeling. And then for others of you, it is, you're saying it's okay to be you. It's okay to feel the way you do. And you are stepping into, you are stepping into the brilliance of love and companionship. And that's okay. You just have to trust the process. Interesting read today. Three very distinct, oops, I'm sorry, I kicked the table this time and made the camera wobble. Um, but three distinct ways to read that one spread. All right, I'm going to leave it there, you all. Um, if you heard that banging around, that was that was Denny Bobeni. He was trying to open cabinets and peek inside. He does that. Um, that banging noise you heard other than me kicking the table. All right, you all. I love all of you so much. Thank you. Thank you for watching. Thank you for spending time with me. If you haven't subscribed uh, or please check to make sure you've subscribed, it really does help keep the channel going. Um, and um, I, I, I don't know. I just feel very, I feel very sappy today. This is one of those, I love everybody kinds of days. You know? <laughs> All right. So anyway, and I do, I love your perfect souls. Be well and take care and we'll, we'll talk later.